Uh, what about the what about the rest of the news? I haven't. I only seen that. Uh, that front page. How today? How's that China things being oh, very handled good, very well? Very good. And I saw last night on television Martin Kagransky has a had a panel of newsmen. Yeah. Sidey and Kilpatrick and. Uh, and his usual group. Yeah. His usual group. And Sidey was just raving on about how your great initiative and even Carl Rowan. Uh, <laughs> Had to say some grudgingly favorable things. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell Patrick handle it. Oh, very favorably, strangely he, enough. He usually does anyway. Yeah. Oh, no, he was very favorable. Then they talked about Uber, and there Kilpatrick was the only one who stood up for him. Oh, well, that's true. That's true. But that, but that doesn't. They know damn well I have to stand up for him. No, no, that, that didn't touch you. No. That was a, they didn't attack you on that. Right. Right. Did they use some of the news summary? Uh, did they use some of the, on the newscast the stuff from the night before? Or I didn't see frankly the didn't see that you were looking at other things. Right. Right. But uh, looking at the papers today, what are they? Uh, what are they? Uh, oh no, they they are they are carrying a lot of your stuff in the uh, right. in the weeklies. Uh, the balance was pretty good, is it? Very good. Yeah. Very very good. I mean, good. all of your stuff is exceptionally good. <clears throat> in the in the weekly news summary, you mean? Huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, the China story is, of course, very big. Yeah. And very favorable to you. Everywhere. You know, the thing I feel, feel is this, that uh, you'll probably see you're bringing Tuesday, right, or Monday, maybe Monday. Well, I'll see him uh, if he comes back. He'll come back either tonight or Wednesday night. Those are the only two flights right. they have this week. Sure. And it, it's just barely conceivable. It's probably Wednesday. That, that this China thing kept him back a few days for reassessment. Fine. Right. What I was thinking... Him either tomorrow or Tuesday. What I was thinking was this, and I don't know just well, quite how it will work. Uh, I would delay your meeting with Bogdan until after you see him. All right. You get... Or have you already set it up? No, no. Let me tell you why. Um... After you see him, we may want to play a very much, very different game. Let's suppose, for example, running it out, let us suppose that we get a straight uh, cut off. You see what I mean? Right. Then, uh, instead of diddling around with this sort of thing, uh, we might go immediately to the highest level. You see, you see what I'm getting at? Oh, yeah. And uh, I don't mean on the... Uh, it, it just, just, and this time we, because we're going to have to, we would have to play that kind of a game, and and knowing the the Asians, the way they operate, well, they will go like molasses and on things of this sort. In a moment like this, they just might bite for the whole thing. You know what I mean? Right. Have a trick complete, and so rather than wasting anything, but telling the show and lie that we'd like to have Mansfield and Scott received and the rest. Let's just wait. I think that's a good idea. Uh, now, he's our best contact, isn't he, uh, the Bogdan? Uh, we'd have to think about that. Well, what I was thinking was... Uh, are, you, are we sure then? Yeah. Yeah. What I was thinking of was... Uh, I'm. How secure are, 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 are they in the lines? They and, always send a messenger. Yeah. Okay. That's fine, then. I was going to say that they'll send a messenger. That's good. And uh, they'll send a messenger to Bucharest, huh? Right. Well, that's good. I was going to say, but another, otherwise, we could send somebody to Bucharest. But another way of doing it is uh, that when I go to talk to the North Vietnamese, I talk to the Chinese ambassador in Paris. Yeah, yeah. And get it set up that way. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you see what I'm getting at. We're... We may as well play our little game, so just forget what I told you to do about Bogdan right now, huh? Right, Mr. Clay. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't, I don't think it's going to play that way. I think that the Russians are... Oh, all, they're going to come. They're uh, going to come. But you know what I mean is that we now have got to play for... We're playing for very high stakes, and uh, we have very little time left, and we can't diddle around, you know, with the Russians or anybody else. Right. Yeah, okay. Right, Mr. Clay.